We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies, YouTube channel, Easter Egg Psychic. In this video, I'll take a look at actress Catherine Zeta-Jones. She was in the crime drama Traffic in 2000, directed by Steven Soderbergh. The cast included Don Cheadle, Benicio Del Toro, Michael Douglas, Luis Guzman, Dennis Quaid, Topher Grace, James Brolin, Stephen Bauer, and Benjamin Bratt. She won an Academy Award Best Supporting Actress for her part in the 2002 musical crime comedy Chicago. Also in this was Renee Zellweger, Richard Gere, Queen Latifah, John C. Riley, Lucy Liu, Calm Fiore, Tay Diggs, Dominique West. She was also in theater, winning Best Leading Actress in a Musical at the 64th Tony Awards. For her part as Desiree in the Broadway stage play production of A Little Night Music in 2009. The music and lyrics for this were composed by Stephen Sondheim. So I took a look at Catherine Zeta-Jones. I thought she may resemble actor Jack Nicholson and possibly Jamie Foxx. I think Foxx may also resemble Jennifer Garner. So, I would consider Garner's looks as well. Jack Nicholson and Jamie Foxx were together in the 2010 Casey Affleck directed mockumentary and parody, I'm Still Here. This was written and starred Joaquin Phoenix. This is about an actor who switches careers and attempts to become a rap music artist. Also in this was... Puff Daddy, Sean P. Diddy Combs, Most Def, Ben Stiller, Edward James Olmos, Billy Crystal, Danny DeVito, on uh, Horrible Bosses 2, a 2014 crime comedy. Jamie Foxx was in this, along with Jason Bateman, Jennifer Aniston, Chris Pine, and Christoph Waltz. Jack Nicholson reportedly considered for the part of Burt Hansen. This part was eventually played by Christoph Waltz. Links between... Jennifer Garner and Jack Nicholson. Ghosts of Girlfriends Past in 2009. A romantic comedy with Matthew McConaughey, Michael Douglas, and Emma Stone. Jennifer Garner plays the female lead in this. Jack Nicholson was reportedly offered the role of Uncle Wayne, eventually played by Douglas. All right, Connections. Links between Catherine Zeta-Jones and Jamie Foxx. Jones was in two films based on the Western hero Zorro. The Mask of Zorro in 1998 and The Legend of Zorro in 2005. Both of these also starred Antonio Banderas. Jamie Foxx starred in Quentin Tarantino's 2012 Western Django Unchained. According to Collider, in 2019, Tarantino selected Jared Carmichael to co-write a film adaptation based on his crossover comic book, which includes the characters Django and Zorro. And The Guardian mentions Tarantino and Jamie Foxx have both expressed interest in having Antonio Banderas reprise his role as Zorro in this concept film alongside Fox as Django. This is from 2014. Alternatively, I thought Catherine Zeta-Jones may resemble actress Anna Paquin. For the 1995 post-apocalyptic action film Waterworld with Kevin Costner and Dennis Hopper. Anna Paquin, reportedly the first choice to play Enola, eventually played by Tina Majorino. Jack Nicholson, considered to play Deacon, eventually played by Hopper. Connections here, Paquin and Zeta Jones both interviewed in an episode of daytime television talk show Live with Kelly and Mark, season 30, episode 96 in 2018. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television from the past. I analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, 
hidden in the subtext of the work in question, I'll also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to some of the anecdotal items, and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities or may resemble the personalities in the movie or television episode that you're watching. My email contact is Easter Egg Guy, that's G-U-Y, at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.